So hello everyone I welcome you all to this amazing platform of PW and to our ignite batch so since now we have completed a lot of chapters in our one shots and today is our number of our trigonometry to do this chapter in easy peasy one shot explanation with important questions and explanation so let's begin with our thing and i hope that you guys are doing perfectly fine to study this chapter with me right so the very first thing which i want is uh, because the last time when i gave you the homework question on triangles chapters 2 and in coordinate geometry too so i assured you guys that i will be taking the name of the students who have given me the homework answers so this these are the names for the triple f of triangles basically the people who have given the homework answers that is uv that is akhyati shibo Shib, uh, shivam and then we have palak jyot right so these people have given the answer of a homework question of the chapter triangles and if we come to the chapter of coordinate geometry which we completed last week so the uh, homework answer is given by dipali palak jyot again and then we have deepak so these people have given the answer to the homework question and today also i will be giving you one homework question and people who will be giving the answer in the comment section i'll surely take their names in the next upcoming lecture right so let's start with our trigonometry chapter and let's see that what all we are going to discuss so we are going to do the introduction of the chapter like very basic what is trigonometry and why do we use study it how do we use it in our day to day lives second which we have is the trigonometric ratios then we have ratio of specific angles complementary angles and our trigonometric identities and this part is really important you know why because most of the questions come from the identity sector only sector in the sense ki we have three identities in trigonometry but those three identities can be used in multiple multiple ways and n number of question i mean to say a variety of questions can be formed from the same thing So let's start with the introduction of the chapter. What is trigonometry? As we have heard, the tri means three, right? Gon means size, and metri means measurement. So when we use the measure, and when we do, and when we use the sides to measure any of the given respective things which we have to calculate with a figure of three a tri sides, that is three sides, that is what is known as trigonometry, right? It is a branch of mathematics that deal with the measurement of angles and the problems allied with the angles. and not only angles with the side as well right and specifically if i talk about trigonometry try again triangles are of multiple multiple like we have isosceles we have scalene we have equilateral we have right angled obtuse angled acute angled right so in this chapter we will surely and only be learning about the right angle triangle because trigonometry is only applicable in your right angle triangles right all right so let's start with the trigonometric ratios like when i talk about triangles and if i only have to be specific about a right angle triangle right so we have learned that the right angle triangle has a you know base it has a hypotenuse and it has a perpendicular right so these are all what are included in your right angle triangle that is it has a base it has a hypotenuse and it has a perpendicular right so all these measurements are actually used to denote a ratio now what is a ratio if i talk about ratio is basically when you divide the values of two things something upon something or something is to something is your ratio right and what are trigonometric ratios so basically there are six major trigonometric ratios which are aligned to your concept of this chapter that is sine for sine we have tangent secant cosecant and cot right so these are the six trigonometric ratios which we are going to study and over here if i consider this side if i name this triangle as a b and c all right if i name this triangle as a b and c so let a b be my y b c be my x and a c be my r matlab what i am about to say is that what we had as a perpendicular is y what we had as a base is x and what we had as a hypotenuse b r now in this ratio i certainly do not write perpendicular upon base in this perspective when i write down the formulas why i do not specifically mention it because the 
perpendicular right changes as our theta changes and why does this happen i'll tell you just give me a second first let us read about this so basically sin theta when i talk about so the relationship the ratio between the perpendicular of the triangle and the hypotenuse of the triangle give us the value of sin theta right now what is this theta any unknown angle and for all the people who are obviously not studying it for the first time you might have heard about sin cosine now what are these these are just the name of the ratios for suppose if i have to calculate the ratio between the perpendicular and the hypotenuse so that will account sin theta if i have to calculate the relationship between base and hypotenuse that will account your cos theta and if i have to account the relationship between the perpendicular and the base that will allot your tan theta and similarly going downwards right so these are the six trigonometric ratios which we have to study in this particular chapter and these three sides can be allotted and can be written in the format of ratios for the same sin theta is the relationship is the ratio between your perpendicular and hypotenuse Co cos theta is the relationship between your base and hypotenuse tan theta is the relationship between perpendicular and base cosecant is the relationship between hypotenuse and perpendicular secant is the relationship between hypotenuse and base and cotangent that is cot theta is the relationship between base and perpendicular right i hope that this thing is clear till here okay let's move forward now what is the reciprocal relationship right we have seen and you can see over here that sin theta right sin theta is written as perpendicular by hypotenuse it is clearly visible that sin theta is written as perpendicular by hypotenuse and if i see cosecant uh, if i see cosecant theta it is written as hypotenuse upon perpendicular do you see some relationship between both of them perpendicular by hypotenuse hypotenuse by perpendicular so such terms which have their relationship like that similarly cosecant uh, similarly cosine is equals to base upon my hypotenuse and similarly secant is equals to hypotenuse by base so basically these ratios form your what reciprocal relation so similarly if i see over here we can write cosec theta as 1 by sin theta and similarly we can write sin theta as 1 upon me cosec theta as well and why because i know that sin theta is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse 1 upon cosec theta can be written as hypotenuse by perpendicular this will go up and become p by h so that's why i can write that my cosec theta is equivalent to my 1 upon my sin theta bacha and next thing which i can write down is my sin theta is equivalent to my 1 upon my cosec theta similarly sec and cos forms a reciprocal relationship and i can also write this as cos theta is equals to 1 by sec theta right and similarly cot and tan also forms a relationship and now what is that my cot theta is equals to 1 by tan theta and i can also write this as tan theta is equals to 1 by cot theta all right so this was all about the reciprocal relationship now you have one more thing that is the question relationship now what is this question relationship among your sin theta cos theta so your tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta how let's see see tan theta how can we write tan theta in the form of ratios right perpendicular by base p by b right how can i write down my sin theta p by h and how can i write my cos theta p by h right this h and this h will get cancelled out and this will be left with only p by b so my tan theta is equivalent to my sin theta by cos theta now similarly tan theta has its reciprocal as cot theta right what i can do i can write tan theta if i am about to write we have it next cot theta is equals to cos theta by sin theta how see first of all we know that tan theta is equals to sin theta by cos theta if i reciprocal both the side so this will become what 1 by tan theta is equals to cos theta by sin theta 
and 1 by tan theta is equals to cot theta which will be equals to cos theta by sin theta right i hope that this thing is clear with everyone so this is how we do it and the next relation which we have is tan theta into cot theta is equals to 1 how we can write tan theta as sin theta by cos theta we can write cot theta as cos theta by sin theta cancel 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 and this results in one simple dimple easy peasy lemon squeezy easy hai like koi dikkat i don't think that there should be any problem okay so let's move forward and uh, okay the very first question we have and that is if sin a is equals to 8 by 17 find other trigonometric ratios of angle a first of all let us construct the triangle the given triangle and let us name it as a b and c all right so we have this triangle and it is given that sin a is equals to 8 by 17 now sin a is equals to 8 by 17 and i know that sin theta you can say it as sin theta you can say it as sin a depending on what is given in the diagram right okay so it is given in sin a this is our sin a okay let me tell you one more thing all right which is important okay so not every time in a triangle this side is the perpendicular right not every time in a right angle triangle this side is equivalent to your perpendicular your perpendicular is always and always dependent on the theta or i should say the angle which is asked in the question for suppose if i have other triangle all right if i have this triangle right over here i have angle c for suppose over here i have angle a for suppose okay and uh, let me name this triangle as pqr right and this triangle as pqr again okay now listen to me carefully very very carefully what i'm about to say is that if i am talking over here in respect to angle c if I am giving my conditions in respect to angle C, now what does that mean? That means that the side, the side which is opposite to your angle is the perpendicular. Over here, this is angle C. The side which is opposite to your angle C is this side. So over here, PQ will be the perpendicular. Right? PQ will be the perpendicular. Over here in this triangle, I am talking about angle A. Now for angle A, the PQ will not be the perpendicular. For your angle A, PQ will not be the perpendicular. The perpendicular will be the side opposite to PQ, uh, opposite to angle A and that is QR. So for angle A in the same triangle, if I talk about angle A, the perpendicular will be equivalent to q r i hope that this thing is clear with everyone for any angle you are judging in a triangle uh, now you have like ma'am if we have this angle so this is 90 degrees so you know this is hypotenuse this is perpendicular and this is base but for the other two angles which are left the one is the upper one and the other one is the down one so for the angles the perpendicular is the side which is opposite to that given angle i hope that this thing is clear with everyone let's move forward now in this question if i have this sine a right if i have the sine a i know that sine theta is equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse but this 8 will not be a b this 8 will be your b c y because this side is opposite to your given theta so that will be the perpendicular and i have hypotenuse as 17 so through your pythagoras theorem i can calculate 17 square minus 8 square that is under root of 225 so my base over here which appears to be the perpendicular but it is not so my base or i should say ab is equivalent to 15 right what i have to do now i have to write the other trigonometric ratios easy nothing to do in this question now right so let's do this question and what i have to say okay so sine a is already given cos a is equals to base upon hypotenuse right then we have tan a that we have perpendicular upon my base 
right then we have your what cosec cosec is reciprocal of sine that will give me 17 by 8 then we have to write sec a sec is reciprocal of cos that will give me 17 by 15 then we have to write cot a the other trigonometric like if we, i am given with only one ratio i can write the other ratios very easily and similarly cot a is the reciprocal of tan a and this will give you 15 by 8 as the answer i hope that this thing is clear with everyone right so what i have done in this question i was given a ratio of sine sine as 8 by uh, 17 which we had so from there i calculated what that sine theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse so this is your perpendicular and this is your hypotenuse but what i have to take care of that which side in this triangle in respect to angle a should be considered my perpendicular so i have chosen that bc should be considered as my perpendicular and the alternated side that is ab will be my base i hope then we have just substituted the value p by h over here and then we have calculated by b by h p by b and what not how the ratios are calculated i hope that this thing is clear with everyone right okay let's move forward and um, second question okay if cot theta is equal to 7 by 8 evaluate the value of 1 plus sine theta 1 minus sine theta okay and uh, then we have 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta all right there are multiple see students when we are doing trigo right listen to me carefully bacha that when we are doing trigo to solve a particular question there might be multiple methods for that right you can do there are like variety of questions and you have variety of answers as well there is no one fixed solution to any of the question but depending on that you are doing right all the identities are right all the operations applied are right so please be focused and uh, be you know on the plate that whatever you are serving is good enough and have no loopholes in that right so you can choose any of the method to solve there is no hard and fast rule to just stick to one method and do it no you can choose any of the method given that it is correct in its form all right if cot theta is equal to 7 by 8 evaluate 1 plus sine theta 1 minus sine theta so i can see a plus b and a minus b format right okay so if i see a minus b and a plus b format so what i can do i can write down this as a square minus b square upon 1 plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta a square minus b square all right i know that my 1 square is 1 and 1 minus sine square theta is equal to my cos square theta similarly 1 minus cos square theta is equal to my sine square theta so cos square theta upon sine square theta is equal to your Oh, sorry right and cot square theta the cot value is given as 7 by 8 and square which is equals to 49 by 64 now a lot of you might have a trouble in this question that because we have not studied identities by now so we will be eliminating this method right and you will get to know that why we eliminated this method at this point of time this method is completely fine completely perfect no errors no loopholes but why i have deleted that just because till now you have not done your identity part but by the end of this lecture when you will see this lecture you will focus on the identity part itself and you will see that this question can be done in both the ways for now what we have to do in this question see if cot theta is given to us as 7 by 8 all right this is b by p cot theta is equals to base by perpendicular right so this is base and this is perpendicular so if i apply pythagoras theorem in this triangle a b and c what i have done till now is i had one cot theta with me that is 7 by 8 over here the base will be 7 and perpendicular will be 8 right okay so let me consider this theta at over here only so perpendicular is 8 this is 7 so my hypotenuse will be equal to under root of 64 plus 49 
this is equals to under root of 1 1 3 all right this is equal to under root of 1 1 3 okay so I have got my hypotenuse so I can calculate what from here I can calculate the sine theta beta I can easily calculate sine theta that is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse similarly I can easily calculate cos theta which is equals to base upon hypotenuse all right what I have done from the cot theta which is given to us I have calculated the base and the perpendicular and along with that what I have done I have calculated the hypotenuse alongside okay next thing which we are having is what cos theta is equals to 7 upon my under root of 1 1 3 now according to the question 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus sine theta at least I can use the uh, algebraic identities that is using a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b and a minus b right so over here we can write a square minus b square this is a plus b a minus b this can be written as a square minus b square upon a square minus b square all right i can write this down as one minus sine square theta this will be eight upon under root of 1 1 3 square upon 1 minus 7 upon under root of 1 1 3 square all right okay so now what we can do we can actually square this up so this will become what 1 minus 8 square beta is 64 and this will form 1 1 3 itself upon 1 minus 7 square is 49 upon 113 itself right so from here what we can do we will calculate so this will become 113 minus 64 upon 113 whole upon 113 minus 49 upon 113 so this 113 and 113 will get cancelled out 113 minus 64 is 49 and 113 minus 49 is 64 so again the answer is same see this is what I was telling you the answer will be same if you are doing all the steps correctly and fine there might be multiple methods to choose from so choose wisely what you need in the question and what is asked in the question to follow the same right let's move forward to the next question the next question says in triangle OPQ right angled at P that this triangle is right angled at P OP is 7 OQ minus PQ is 1 what is given to you is OQ minus PQ is equal to 1 as shown in the figure determine the values of sine q and cos q all right you have to calculate the value of sine q and cos q the angle is change and so will the perpendicular according to question in this triangle po right op is given to you as 7 centimeters so let us just apply what let us apply your um, pythagoras theorem that is oq square is equals to pq square plus op square right oq if i'll take this pq over here so this will become oq is equals to 1 plus pq so on the place of oq i can write 1 plus pq so this will become 1 plus pq square is equals to pq square plus OP is already given to you as 7 square right I hope that this thing is clear till here A plus B whole square we can apply that is A square plus B square plus 2AB is equals to PQ square plus 49 PQ square and PQ square will get cancelled out and here I will be left with only 1 plus 2PQ equal to 49 I'll take this 49 here and this will become 2PQ is equals to 48 and PQ is equals to 24 right if PQ is 24 then I had a relation that OQ is equals to PQ plus 1 so from here we will get OQ is equals to 25 centimeter I hope that this thing is clear with everyone right so my OQ is equals to 25 centimeter and my PQ is equivalent to your 24 
centimeter. Now, what I have to actually calculate? O Q, uh, sine Q, and cos Q. All right. So sine Q and cos Q. Right. Sine Q is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. But over here, the perpendicular will be this seven. Right. The perpendicular will be this seven. So this will be seven. Upon hypotenuse, that is twenty-five. Similarly, this is base upon hypotenuse. Base is twenty-four, and this is twenty-five. So this is the final answer for the question. I hope that this thing is clear with everyone. Let's move forward to the next part. That is the trigonometric angles for uh, trigonometric values for specific angles. So when we study trigonometry, beta, so there are certain angles which have the values fixed according to the questions. All right, and these values are applicable for each and every question, right? So that's why they have a value. So when we have sine theta at zero degrees, so the value is zero. Sine theta at thirty degrees, one by two. Then forty-five, it has one by root two. Sixty as root three by two, and ninety as one. Similarly, all the values, all the angles, and all the ratios have specific values for specific angles. So of course, these angles are, uh, you know, more also give. 270 180 and you have 360 a lot of angles in between but for your course this is only 0 to 90 and over here the values are fixed you do not have to just sit down and you know just learn these values at one go as soon as you will start solving the question the values and some specific values which are used at a larger perspective that values will be subsequently added to your you know subconscious mind and you will remember that by heart again okay So let's see how do we have questions related to your values of specific angles. So if I see this question, I have to evaluate this value. Nothing I have to do; just have to put the value. What is the value of sine sixty? This is sine. This is sixty. The value of sine sixty is root three by two. All right. This is root three by two into what is the value of cos thirty? Again, root three by two. Minus what is the value of cos sixty? You have one by two, and value of sine thirty, one by. All right. What I just did from the table, I just wrote down the values for the angles which was asked. Right. Okay. So the next thing which we have is root three into root three will give you three. Two into two will give you four, beta. One into one will give you one. Two into two will give you four. Three by four minus one by four, two by four, that is equivalent to one by two. I hope that this thing is clear with everyone. The answer which we have over here is one by, right? Okay. Next, let's see the question. Okay. In this triangle PQR, right angle at Q, the value of PQ is three centimeter, PR is six centimeter. We have to determine the angle QP. R, all right. This angle we have to determine, and we have to determine P R O. Okay, this is 90 degree. All right. So over here, if I have to see this angle, or even if I have to see this angle, right? For suppose I take angle P R Q. Right. For angle P R Q, the ratio. If I take the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse, so perpendicular upon hypotenuse. If I write down. That perpendicular upon hypotenuse. See, for this angle, if I'm choosing this side, will be the perpendicular, and of course, six is the hypotenuse, right? So perpendicular by hypotenuse is equals to three by six, right? So for angle PRQ, for suppose if I'm taking sine because I'm taking the relationship between perpendicular and hypotenuse, so what I will do? I'll say sine theta. Because theta is unknown, theta is any angle which is unknown to you. So what I have taken, I have taken sine theta, right? And that sine theta is equals to one by two. How one by two? I'll cancel it out, right? And I know that the value, right? The value of sine theta is one by two at your thirty degree. So what I can write down in place of one by two, I can write down sine theta. Is equals to sine thirty, right? Then I have theta as thirty degree. And if this angle comes out to be thirty degree, and this is ninety degree, so obviously this is your sixty degree, right? I hope that this thing is clear with everyone. 
let's move forward. Okay. Okay, in this question, taking theta as 30, what we have to verify that sine 230, 2 theta is equals to 2 sine theta into cos theta. You have to do nothing, just put the value of theta, put the values which you know from the table and then you are done with the question. For suppose over here, theta is equals to 30 degrees, right? Sine 2 theta, that means sine 2 into 30 degree is equal to 2 sine 30 cos 30, right? Sine 230 ka matlab sine 60 degree. What is the meaning of sine 230? That means sine 60 degree, right? What is the value of 2 sine 30? If I write down sine 30, right? So over here I'll have 1 by 2 into I have root 3 by 2. The values of sine 30 and cos 30. Right, sine 60, the value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2. 2 and 2 will get cancelled and this will be left with root 3 by 2. Since my left hand side is equal to my right hand side, so hence verify. Right, I hope that this thing is clear with everyone and this is hence verify. All right. Let's move forward to the next question. This is an important question, right? So please uh, see this question carefully. And what is asked that 3x is equals to cos theta. All right, it is given in the question that 3x is equals to cos theta. All right, no issues. Cosec theta, right? And 3 by x is equals to cot theta. I have to calculate the value of 3 into x square minus 1 by x square, right? So, what I have to do over here, I know, okay, wait. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, uh, we will continue with this question once we are done with the identities part. Alright, I'm sorry that I added the question beforehand, but that will be solved on the basis of your identity part. I'll just show you and we'll uh, get to know the identities later. Alright, we have one identity that cos x square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1. Alright, cos x square theta is 3x cot theta is 3 by x which is equals to 1. Okay, so if, if I open it this will become 9x square minus 9 by x square is equals to 1. What I will do take the 9 common. Alright, and when I will take the 9 common, so I will be left with 9 bracket x square minus 1 by x square is equals to 1, right? This will become x square minus 1 by x square equals to 1 by 9. I have the value of this part, but I need to calculate 3. So, what I have to do, multiply both sides by 3. So, what I will do, multiply both sides by 3. So, when I will multiply both sides with 3, I will be getting 3 x square minus 1 by x square is equals to 1 by 9 into 3 which is equals to 1 by 3. So, the value of 3 into x square minus 1 by x square when 3 x is equals to cos x theta and 3 by x is equals to cos theta is 1 by 3. I hope that this uh, question is interesting and helpful for you people. Once we are done with identity, so please stick to this part key. Why do have we used it? And then we can go ahead with the same thing, right? Okay. Now, what we have complementary angles. So, in junior classes as well, right? So, when I talk about my lines and angles chapter, so in junior classes as well, we have dealt with your complementary angles. Complementary angles are the angles, if two angles are taken and the sum of both the angles is equivalent to a 90 degree and supplementary if the sum is 180 degree but over here complementary means what there is a relationship between the complementary of one angle and the other angle you can see it from this table right if i'll show you this table so what you can see from this table that the value of sine 0 is equivalent to the value of cos 90 the value of sine 90 is equivalent to the value of cos 0 
the value of cos 30 is equivalent to cos 60 the value of sin 60 is equivalent to cos 30 and both are the same values and 1 by 2 so there is a zigzag relationship which i can see over here that this this that the first of here is the last the last of here is first then you have 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 so there is a zigzag relationship which is followed by this thing right okay so what i can implement from here now see over here also this is not defined this is not defined this is one this is one this is two this is two this root two root two same two root three two root three so there is a relationship between and similarly when you will see that in tan theta and cot theta you will get to know about the thing right okay so let's move forward what i'm saying about the complementary angles right so there is a relationship and that relationship is defined as what that if you have an angle sine theta for suppose if you have sine theta right sin theta is equivalent to your cos 90 minus theta just because we have seen the zigzag relationship between the things right okay so this is equivalent to your 90 minus theta similarly you have a relationship as cos theta which is equal to sin 90 minus theta then you have tan theta as cot 90 minus theta and cot theta as tan 90 minus theta then you have cosec theta as sec 90 minus theta and then you have sec theta as cosec 90 minus theta so this is the complementary relationship between the angles over here and this is how you can use it to solve the question without using the table see how evaluate tan 65 and cot 25 i have just taught you the value of 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree you know 60 degree and 90 degree but we haven't done the values of your 25 degrees and 65 degrees so how can we actually solve this up so what i can do see tan 65 let tan 65 remains tan 65 I can write cot 25. Some of you have problems, see, uh, in writing and expanding the things. For suppose I have 7, right? How can I write 7? I can write 7 as 10 minus 3, right? I can write 7 as 5 plus 2. I can write 7 as whatever thing possible as multiple multiple expressions right I can split 7 into n numbers of two, uh, uh, 2 numbers 2 digits right I can write 7 as 10 minus 3 11 minus 4 5 plus 2 1 plus 6 n number of ways right but what actually do I have to choose that it actually forms a relationship with over here with 65 and I have to write it in respect to 90 minus something so if I have to write 25 degree right I have to write 25 in such a way that 90 degree minus something should give me 25 degrees because over here I have to substitute the value in place of your 25 so what I can do 90 minus what is 25 right I have to think so if I see clearly and think clearly I know that 90 minus 65 gives me 25 so in this place of 25 what i will do i will just write down 90 minus 65 and now you can see that this is in format of cot 90 minus theta and what is cot 90 minus theta right i can write this down as tan 65 upon cot 90 minus theta is again tan theta and theta over here is what 65 so this will get cancelled out and the answer will be 1 i hope that this thing is clear with everyone right let us do one more question that without using trigonometric table we have to prove that this into this into this into this is 1 okay so let us first of all pair because we are doing complementary angles so let us pair the angles as per if they give the sum of 90 degree so I can pair 48 degree with 42 degree and 23 degree with 67 degree because I can see that 48 and 42 will give me 90. Similarly, 23 and 67 will give me 90, right? Okay, let me rearrange it and write down. Tan 48 degree into tan 42 degree into tan 23 degree into tan 
67 degree right okay now i can write 42 let me write down tan 48 degree as it is tan 42 i can write 42 as 90 minus 48 right similarly what i can do i can keep tan 23 as it is and for tan 67 i can write it down as 90 minus 23 yes or no what i have done i have kept tan 48 as tan 48 and in the place of 42 i have written 90 minus 48 because 90 minus 48 gives me 42 i can write down my 42 as 90 minus 48 because this is a correct statement similarly i have written my 67 as 90 minus 23 okay so tan 48 tan 90 minus theta is cot theta tan 23 is tan 23 and tan 90 minus 23 is cot 23 right okay so i know that my cot is equals to 1 by tan so despite of cot 48 i can write 1 upon tan 48 and similarly tan 23 is there and despite of cot 23 i can write this down as 1 upon tan 23. So this will get cancelled out and the answer is 1 which I had to prove and hence proved the question right okay I hope that this thing is clear with everyone right so let's move forward to the next part and that is the identities part one of the most important part which you have in this particular chapter because the identity part carries variety of question right and you have a number of ways which I have already told you to solve it up so you can choose any method so these are the three identities which we use in our trigonometry that is cos square theta plus sin square theta is one and what is actually an identity it is an equation involving trigonometric ratios of an angle and the trigonometric identity if it is true for all the values and all the questions so these three values are true for all the values which we take of theta and these will apply and that's why they are known as identity right so cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to one the very first identity 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cos x square theta and according to the question you can switch the terms like if cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1 so you can write down cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta as well so you can actually switch the identities according to what is asked in the question let us start solving the question okay so what is given in the question it is given that prove that 1 minus sin square theta into sec square theta is equals to 1 all right using identity right using identity that is cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta so on the place of 1 minus sin square theta what i can write down cos square theta into sec square theta right this is my lhs cos square theta into sec square theta i can write down cos square theta as cos square theta and sec square theta as 1 upon cos square theta this will get cancelled out and the answer is 1 which is equals to right hand side. So this was asked in the question and we have proved that our 1 minus sin square theta into sec square theta is equals to 1. Let's move forward to the next question, question number 11. We have to prove that cosec theta minus sin theta into sec theta minus cos theta is equals to 1 upon tan theta into cot theta. Alright, see there are multiple ways to solve a question which I have already told you. In some question, you might have to rationalize. In some question, you might have to convert it into identity. In some question, you might have to multiply from your own will in the question to make a proper identity. In other questions, what you can do, you have to solve both LHS and RHS to come to a common, you know, result. And then you can say that both are equal. Right. In one question, like in the previous one, I have only taken LHS and then equated it to your 
RHS. But in this question, what we can do, we can actually solve RHS to one respect, then we can solve LHS to one respect, and then we can compare the result if they are equal. So for suppose over here, the very first thing which I have is cosec theta minus sine theta into sec theta minus cos theta. All right. Okay, I can write cosec theta as 1 upon sine theta minus sine theta. I can write sec theta as 1 upon cos theta minus cos theta. Over here, what I can do, I can take the LCM, bacha, and from here I'll get 1 minus sine square theta by sine theta into 1 minus cos square theta upon cos theta. 1 minus sin square theta is equivalent to cos square theta into 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta. Cancel, cancel, 1 cancel, 1 cancel and over here what I am left with is cos theta into sin theta. So I cannot solve my LHS beyond this prospect and what I will do, I will just leave this thing till here, right? What I have done, I have taken my LHS, solved it to a result and then stopped. Then I, what I will do, I will take my RHS and solve this also because this thing is not equal to this. I have to make this equal, right? What I will do, I will solve this part as well. So this is 1 tan theta plus cot theta, right? And tan theta can be written as 1 upon sine theta by cos theta plus cos theta by sine theta, right? I'll take the LCM and it will become 1 upon sine square theta plus cos square theta upon sine theta into cos theta. Now this will go up and this will become sin theta into cos theta and sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. So the final answer is left with sin theta into cos theta. Now sin theta into cos theta, cos theta into sin theta both are same thing. So in this question what we have done, we have solved separately the left hand side and the right hand side and from both of them we have come to a common result which we have concluded as equal. Okay, let's move forward to the next question, question number 12. Okay, so we have to prove that sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta and 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to 10 theta. Now, most of you might have this issue that ma'am, in which question we have to apply that particular, you know, tip or trick, how do we actually solve that up? How do we, by looking at the question, tell ma'am that we have to actually do this method or that method? So that actually comes with the practice, surely, right? So once you will do a type of question, for suppose if you are learning and listening to me very carefully for this question, for the next time when you will see some cube question or something related to this, this trick, basically this method, will click in your mind that yes, ma'am had taught us this and we should apply this method in this particular question. So that actually comes with practice. So see, what I can do, I can take sine theta common, all right? I can take sine theta common from the numerator and this will become 1 minus 2 sine square theta upon, I'll take cos theta common and this will become 2 cos square theta minus 1. Alright, uh, this is cos only. This is cos only, right? Okay. Okay. Now what I'll do in place of 1, just listen to this part very carefully. Right? Sine square theta minus cos square theta and why because sin square theta into cos square theta is 1 so what I am saying that in this place of 1 
where you have one in the numerator as well in the denominator as well at that place apply what sin square minus cos square so what you can do in this question right see what it will become this will become sin theta right i hope that this thing is getting clear right in place of one what i am writing sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin square theta all right and in denominator as well in place of 1 in this place in this place of 1 we will write sin square theta minus cos square right okay now what we will do see sin square theta minus 2 sin square theta will give you minus sin square theta so what i can do i can write this down as sin theta that is in the outside this one cos square theta minus sin square theta and in the denominator we have cos theta into okay we have 2 cos square theta minus cos square theta that is plus cos square theta minus sin square theta what we have done is 2 cos square theta minus cos square theta cos square theta sin square theta minus 2 sin square theta minus sin square theta we have written that at the back right this and this will get cancelled out so we are left with sin theta upon cos theta and sin theta by cos theta is equals to your tan theta i hope that this thing is clear with everyone and this is equal to your right hand side of the question and this is how we are going to solve it let's move forward to the next question question number 13 okay so prove that sec square theta plus cos sec square theta is equals to sec square theta into cos sec square theta all right no issues right what we can do over here is in your question number 13 we can solve this up see sec square theta can be written as sec square theta can be written as we can use the identity also there is no big deal in that right and we can separately solve this so i can give this question as a homework question because it's an easy one right you just have to just solve it up you can write down see you can write down sec square theta acha we already have a homework question by the end sorry let's do this over here only you can write sec square theta as 1 upon cos square theta and you can write cos sec square theta as 1 upon sin square theta right take the lcm so what will happen sin square theta plus cos square theta upon cos square theta into sin square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta is equivalent to 1 right upon you have cos square theta into sin square theta now what you can do you can solve it separately that 1 upon cos square theta will give you what sec square theta and 1 upon me sin square theta will give you what your cos sec square theta so this will be equal to sec square theta into cos sec square easy question right okay let's move forward to question number 14 prove that under root of sec square theta plus cos sec square theta is equals to tan theta into cot theta how you can do it okay see this question so basically we know that sec square theta is equals to tan square theta plus 1 and similarly we know that cos sec square theta is equals to cot square theta plus 1 right let us just substitute the values all right and even if you are not substituting just add the both the equations this is equation 1 this is equation 2 right what are we doing we are adding equation 1 and equation Two, right? If we add one and two over here, we have what? Okay, so we are having sec square theta plus cos sec square theta is equals to tan square theta plus cot square theta plus two. 
right? We have sec square theta cos x square theta tan square theta plus cot square theta into 2. I can write down this 2 as 2 into 1. If I write down this 2 as 2 into 1, there will not be any problem, right? And why we I have written this as 1? See, this is as it is. Alright, this is as it is. And over here, what I can write down, see. Tan square theta plus cot square theta plus 2. And in this place of 1, I can write down what? I can write down tan theta into cot theta and why I have written that because tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 tan theta into cot theta is equals to 1 so over here it was 2 I have written 2 as 2 into 1 and in that place of 1 I have written what tan theta into cot theta now this actually formed an identity of tan square theta plus cot square theta plus 2 tan theta cot theta and this is the identity of tan theta plus cot theta whole square if I just transpose this square over here so this will become what this will become my sec square theta plus cos x square theta under root equals to tan theta plus what theta so this was what we have to prove and yeah all right so what i have to take care in this question i multiplied my two with one in place of one i have written tan theta cot theta so that this becomes an identity of a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus two into a into b and then i can solve it out directly right okay so let's move forward to the last question for the day and this is if x is equals to a sin theta plus b cos theta and if y is equals to a cos theta into b minus b sin theta we have to prove that x square plus y square is equals to a square plus b square simple as that if x square and y square is asked in the question let us take lhs and do the squaring part right x square how much if we have x as a sine theta plus b cos theta so x square will be equals to a sine theta plus b cos theta whole square which is equals to a square plus let us do y square over here itself right let us do y square over here itself so we do not have to write that again and again right plus y square is a cos theta minus b sine theta ka square a square plus b square plus 2ab that is ab sin theta into cos theta plus a square plus b square minus 2ab okay so let us see what all is getting cancelled. So 2ab and 2ab is getting cancelled out. a square sin square theta and we have a square cos square theta. So let us write it down. a square, we are left with a square sin square theta plus a square cos square theta plus b square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta all right we can take common from these two and these two that is a square and b square so this will become a square common we have sin square theta plus cos square theta we will have b square common and this will be equals to cos square theta plus sin square theta so this is a square into 1 plus b square which is equals to rhs of the question 
I hope that this thing is clear with everyone, right? So with this we come to an end of our lecture, and I hope that the lecture was helpful for you people. This is our homework question. Again, what I want is you people to comment down the answer of the homework question, and for the people who are answering it, those names will be taken in the next lecture for sure. I hope that the session was helpful for you people, and you guys actually learned and enjoyed a lot of things, right? So let's meet me in the next lecture where we will be doing our heights and distances, which is the application of your trigonometry. So please stay tuned to the next lecture and take care of yourselves. Let us meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye and take care. Thank you.